Hello and welcome to this Red Store video where we're going to cover a full system recovery using a combination of Red Store's methods using full system recovery and instant data permanent all from our Red Store app from a web browser. So let's start by logging into the Red Store app using your Red Store username and password. And we'll move over to the left hand side where I have an area called machines. This is where all my Windows, Linux and Mac infrastructure will sit. So if I browse into the first card, you can see a dashboard showing how many laptops I'm backing up, how many enterprise server editions I'm backing up, and we can see how much data has grown over the last few months. So in this case, I'm going to go into my UK data center, go into my servers group, and here you will see a whole list of my servers that have been backing up to the Red Store service. So in this demonstration, I'm going to recover this Windows host that's currently backing up 67 gig to the Red Store service. So first of all, let me just show you remote management so I can show you how the agent itself has been configured. So if we click on the three little dots on the right hand side and I choose download remote agent and run that tool this will then make a remote connection to the Red Store Enterprise Server Edition agent wherever in the world this device is and this is the agent that is doing the heavy lifting as you can see I'm protecting the C drive and the L drive there are some exclusions but I have enabled what we call full system backup, which is our full disaster recovery. This means that in the event of a disaster, not only can I recover any files and folders that have been selected, um, some SQL data or the system state, but I can actually recover the entire system in the event of a disaster. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So let's come off the system and I'm now back on my desktop where I've got Hyper-V in waiting in the background. So let's start the DR procedure by, again, highlighting the machine that I want to restore. So I'm going to click on the three little dots, and this time I'm going to choose Recover Using Instant Data. This is our disaster recovery tool. So that's going to download, and we're going to open that utility up. So in this case, we're going to do full system disaster recovery. So I'm going to choose the bottom option, but in a second, we will look at Instant Data Permanent File Recovery because we're going to combine two different methods to speed up the recovery process. So I'm going to launch full system recovery. And now I'm prompted, whereabouts am I going to recover that server from? So the default will always be the Red Store's cloud. However, if you've implemented our local copy, you could recover from the on-premise backup points. But in this case, I'm going to recover from the cloud. And before I can access any of that data, of course, I need to provide a valid encryption key. Now that I provided a valid encryption key, I can, of course, then choose any of the historical backups stored with Red Store. So by default, we'll always keep four months worth of retention. But if you want to customize that, let us know. We can always crank that up for you. So in this case, I'm going to recover the last version of this system. Um, and also, I can choose where my recovery target's going to be. Now, I could do bare metal recovery. I could recover directly to Azure. I could recover directly to VMware via vSphere. But in this case, I'm actually going to recover to Hyper-V. So I'm going to choose a local virtual disk. And of course, then, if I pull the drop down, you can see I can recover to a VHD or a VHDX for Hyper-V. But I can also output a flat VMDK for VMware. So in this case, I'm going to be restoring to Hyper-V. So I'm going to choose a VHDX. And then I need a location on my server of where I'm going to restore this to. So I'm going to pop that into my Hyper-V data center folder. Now, if I was to kick off the restore right now, this particular date and time, that server was 67 gig. Now, if this server was maybe used as a file server and a domain controller, I might be interested in just getting the bootable C drive back and worry about the data disk later. So what I'm going to in fact do is click on the configure volume settings and then hit next.
Now that the volume system configuration has loaded, I can see that my server has two physical disks. Disk 1, volume 1 is the boot partition. Disk 1, volume 2 is the C drive. And that equates to 51 gig of data that I'll need to restore. And I can also see that the partition size is 126 gig. Now I know disk 2 is only 14 gig. Um, but what I'm going to do is I want to demonstrate how I can recover this 14 gig using the Red Store Instant Data Permanent Recovery. Again, reducing the restore time of this server. So in fact, my restore is now going to be just disk 1, which is 51 gig. So we'll kick that restore off now and we will analyse the performance once the restore has finished. Okay, fantastic. So as you can see, the full system disaster recovery has completed in little over 30 minutes and we now have the C drive ready to add into Hyper-V and boot up. So let's hit close and I make my way to my Hyper-V data center folder. There is the restored disk and you can see it's 46 gig in size. This is the operating system drive that we recovered. So what we must do now is go into Hyper-V and create a new virtual machine and follow the wizard So in this case, I chose to restore to a VHDX, which is a Generation 2 virtual disk. Assign some memory for the virtual machine. So in this case, I'm going to attach to an existing virtual disk and browse to my D drive, Hyper-V data center, and there is the disk that I've just restored and click open, and then click next. And then to finish, we'll compile that virtual machine and we'll simply power on that machine and then connect to it in the Hyper-V manager. So now that my Windows host has booted up, let me add in the password. So now that my server has booted up into Hyper-V, I can have a look in Explorer. And as you can see, only the C drive is currently present and is on a partition of 126 gig, as it would have looked like beforehand. So now we must go back to Hyper-V and add another virtual disk to recover the data drive. So now we're back in Hyper-V Manager. Uh, we must turn off that machine before we can add the virtual disk. And then we'll go into Settings. And then we'll uh, select the drive settings and add a new virtual disk. And we'll go through the settings here and I'll choose the area of where I want to store that new virtual disk. So I'll stick that back on the D drive where I stored the other VHDX virtual disk. Okay, fantastic. So we'll go through the other settings just to initialize the disk and uh, create a partition size. Okay, all is good. So we'll click OK to that. And now what we can do is again start that virtual machine and connect into the Hyper-V console. And we'll just speed up a little bit just getting into that virtual machine. Okay, so now we've got the virtual machine, let's go into Disk Manager. And what we'll be able to do is under Disk, we'll obviously see a disk that's not been allocated yet. So wait for those disks to load. 
there it is there's a disk that's uh, unknown so we right click on that create a new volume go through the settings of uh, creating that new virtual disk and formatting that new drive so we'll have that set as an L drive as the original machine and we'll just get that formatted okay great so now you'll see I've got an L drive presented to my server and of course we're going to that folder that is obviously empty there's no data on there so I've already put the Red Store instant data application on the desktop within the virtual machine now this is key we can now use instant data permanent file recovery and again connecting to Red Store's data center we'll have to provide a valid encryption key so we'll type that in Excellent. So we'll put instant data permanent application over on the left and we'll go and find our empty L drive and put that over on the right. Okay, so what we now need to do is explore that L drive and as you can see, I can see all of the historical backups that Red Store have been taking. Uh, and if we plus out the file server area, you'll see all of my users and we look at Andy. Andy's got all of the various test data as as all of the other users so we'll drag and drop the file server folder from red stores cloud over to that empty folder and if you look at the bottom left hand side of the screen you'll see the instant data permanent restore create the stub files and now it's busy with the upload in this case of 14 gig but if you look at the percentage we're not even one percent complete on the recovery but if we go over to the right hand side in a second and look in the file server folder and if we choose a user let's look at Simon Simon's got his uh, his files there and if we scroll down we can see all of those files but they're not restored yet until Simon in this case double clicks on his PDF for GDPR I might take a, a second to load but as a priority Simon will get the file that he wants to have a look at so we can scroll down in that file that's great we've got that file so if we uh, maybe perhaps go and look at another file. So let's scroll down. Let's see if we've got some other files in, in here. Again, it doesn't really matter what the file is. What will happen is as the user requests that file, that will go to the top of the priority. And there we go. We've got our Red Store technical support guidelines for logging support cases. So, quick recap, it took us 30 minutes to recover the bootable partition, and then we added the L drive, then we are able to use instant data permanent to drag all of the data, and the users are none the wiser that the recovery is still in progress. They're happy, they can get their data. Thanks ever so much for watching this video.